Well, we are now talking about that um, order that was just a judge granted that restraining order. This comes after the Planned Parenthood Association of Utah asked for that emergency hearing seeking the temporary restraining order be put in place. Joining us to talk about these developments, President and CEO of Utah's Planned Parenthood, Carrie Galloway, Planned Parenthood of Utah, I should say. Carrie, thank you for joining us here today. What is your response after making this request and having it be temporarily granted here today? We are so relieved that the judge granted the TRO. It has allowed us to begin today serving women and pregnant people who made appointments a week, 10 days ago, to resolve a pregnancy and um, while this case moves through the courts. Um, we are just ecstatic that we can serve people. Tell us, this is just a temporary thing, 14 days. Does that allow you the time as an organization? Is, is that hopeful for you? Is that enough time? Well, it's hopeful for the women who have planned on terminating pregnancy. During that 14 days, we will be preparing our preliminary injunction, at which time we will have another hearing before the judge, and it will be his determination whether the preliminary injunction goes into effect, which would then stay the uh, law and while this case goes through the courts. And it would allow us to argue the case for the judge to be able to determine at that point whether it stays in this court, whether it goes to a higher court, and we can resolve some of these issues. Carrie, there are so many emotions on all sides of, of this discussion and all that is happening. What do you want the message to be from Planned Parenthood of Utah here this afternoon? Well, from Planned Parenthood, it's relief for the women who have had over 50 years of precedent for the way to handle their reproductive health care. Um, the ruling from the Supreme Court was fairly abrupt in that the, by the end of the day, the uh, trigger law was in effect and it just stopped what was 50 years of precedent for women, pregnant people and families of Utah. This allows time to put things into place, um, time for people to become adjusted and time for our issues to be presented and the courts to decide whether there is a case for continuing access to comprehensive reproductive health care. All right, Carrie, we really appreciate your response here on air today. We know that you are all working on a response for uh, uh, all of the media outlets, all of us wondering how this is affecting those out there. And we'll, of course, here at ABC4 have continuing coverage of the Supreme Court decision on abortion, both on air and online at ABC4.com.